This ProfessAnchor tutorial will discuss the features of the Loads tab. The Loads tab can be used to select a design method, a type of anchor, to input load values, and to input seismic criteria. To select a design method, go to the box titled Loads, then click on this drop-down. When the U.S. is selected as a region, two design methods become available. Select Strength Design to utilize the Strength Design provisions of ACI 318 Appendix D and the ICC Evaluation Service Acceptance Criteria AC193 and AC308. Select Allowable Stress Design to utilize the Allowable Stress Design provisions which are given in the Hilti North America Product Technical Guide. To select an anchor type, go to the Loads box, then click on this drop-down. When Post Installed is selected, various Hilti Post Installed Anchor systems can be utilized. When Cast in Place is selected, various Cast in Place Anchor systems can be utilized, which include headed studs, and headed bolts. Cast-in-place anchors can only be used with the strength design provisions of ACI 318 Appendix D. When strength design is selected as an option, Profus Anchor will filter the anchor portfolio such that only those post-installed anchors which have been pre-qualified for use with strength design provisions are available. The cast in place anchors in the Profus Anchor portfolio can only be used when strength design is selected as a design option. Selecting allowable stress design as an option results in Profus Anchor performing calculations using the data that's given in the Hilti North America product technical guide. Likewise, when allowable stress design is selected as an option, Profus Anchor filters the post installed anchor portfolio to show those anchors for which allowable stress design data is given in the Hilti North America product technical guide. When Canada is selected as a region, users can select design methods which include the strength design provisions of CSA A23.3 and the allowable stress design provisions which are given in the Hilti North America product technical guide. When CSA A23.3 has been selected as a design method, Profus Anchor filters the post-installed anchor portfolio to include those anchors which are suitable for use with this design method. Note that adhesive anchor systems are not currently suitable for use with the provisions of CSA A23.3. Likewise, cast-in-place anchors are not included in the Profus Anchor portfolio when CSA A23.3 has been selected as a design method. You can click on this icon to generate a design report. Notice that the icon is grayed out. This indicates that all of the input parameters have not been satisfied and calculations cannot be performed. If calculations cannot be performed, no design report can be generated. Referring to the message pane, it indicates that no loads have been set. Therefore, for this example, we need to input our loads. Once we've done so, we can perform calculations and then generate a design report. You can input a load value directly on the main screen. Each time a load value is input, the calculation results can be monitored via the results pane. I'd like to input a tension value of 8,000 pounds. To do so, I click on the tension parameter, input 8,000, then left click or click enter to save the value. Note that the results pane shows us real-time calculation results for the tension load. Calculation results will be updated automatically for each load parameter that's input. You can also input loads via a table. To do so, 
click on the Enter Loads tab and then input a value. Profus Anchor uses conventional engineering assumptions with respect to load direction. So for example, I've input a value of 240,000 inch-pounds for a moment acting about the x-axis. Clicking OK and viewing the main screen, we can see that this moment is assumed to act in a counterclockwise direction in conformance with standard engineering assumptions. When using the Loads tab, Profus Anchor users can input seismic design provisions. The version of Profus Anchor being used for this tutorial includes the provisions of ACI 31808. To select a seismic design option, go to the box titled Seismic, then highlight and click on the box titled Seismic Design. When Seismic Design is selected as an option, the ACI 31808 version of Profus Anchor defaults to the provisions of Part D.3.3.4. The second seismic option corresponds to the provisions of Part D.3.3.5. And the third seismic option corresponds to the provisions of Part D.3.3.6. For detailed information regarding the use of Profus Anchor with the seismic provisions of ACI 31808, refer to the Profus Anchor tutorial on seismic provisions. This concludes the Profus Anchor tutorial on the Loads tab. If you would like to contact Hilti for additional information, click on the wrench icon in the upper left portion of the main screen. Then click on Resources and contact us. Your email will be sent to Hilti North America Technical Services.